Hey, I'm here on the New Market Battlefield in beautiful Shenandoah County, Virginia. It's a gorgeous day here in the Shenandoah Valley. It was a gorgeous day yesterday. <clears throat> the Battle of New Market was fought May 15, 1864, 153 years ago yesterday. And the weather did not look like this. As a matter of fact, May 15, 1864, there was a horrible storm occurring. It was rainy, uh, thunder, lightning, the fields were muddy and mucky. So, not really a good day. And plus, you have a, a battle happening. But what's going to happen is U Union General Ulysses S. Grant has taken command of all Union armies. He's going to have a grand strategy. And that strategy is to move all Union armies simultaneously and crush the Confederates and bring them to submission to end the American Civil War. Uh, Grant is going to be with General George Meade and with the Army of the Potomac and push Robert E. Lee toward Richmond. He's entrusted General Franz Siegel of German descent here in the valley. He wants Siegel to push up the valley towards Stanton, wipe the valley clear of Confederates, and be on Robert E. Lee's left flank. Siegel says he's up to the challenge and starts out. In turn, General Robert E. Lee is going to entrust General John C. Breckinridge to stop Siegel. Now Breckinridge has got some history to him. He's a former Vice President of the United States. He's been in the Confederate Army pretty much since day one. Um, not quite day one, but pretty close. He is uh, hes a very good general. He's not by any means Stonewall Jackson or Jeb Stewart or anyone like that. He's not quite as famous, but he, he is a pretty good general. He's not horrible by any means. Breckenridge is going to get a makeshift army together, about 4,100 troops. Of those 4,100 troops are going to be cadets from the Virginia Military Institute. Many of them just boys, 14, 15, 16 years old. Breckenridge has it in his mind that if he doesn't have to use the cadets, he is not going to. Uh, his, his strategy is to keep the cadets in reserve, and it's a last-ditch effort to have to use them. So what's going to happen is about mid-morning, between mid-morning and noon of, 18, of May 15th, 1864, the battle's going to start about south, south of town in an area known as Manor Hill. Union troops are going to occupy that hill and Confederates are going to attack and push them all the way back behind me to what's known as the Bush Hong Farm. Now during this battle, the Bush Hongs were here and they were actually in the cellar hiding during the battle. Union troops of Franz Siegel are going to be set up here at the farm as well as artillery. As the Confederates come through charging toward the Bush Hong Farm, Union artillery is going to break up their attack and stall it. <clears throat> During that time, the 51st and 30th Virginia, their right wing is going to break and they are going to retreat in confusion. It is at that point with the VMI cadets in reserve that Breckenridge is going to say some famous words. He is going to say, put the boys in. He has no other troops, so he is going to put the VMI cadets in to fill the gap. And they're going to suffer some casualties right off the bat. Um, but they're going, to, they're going to hold steady. They're going to be in the gap. Um, they're going to fight like men. At about right after that, the Union Army is going to attack. In turn, the Confederate artillery is going to stop the Union Army uh, and break up their attack, just like the Union artillery broke up the Confederates' attack. At around 3 p.m., Breckenridge is going to order an all-out assault. They are going to go across the fields here at the Bush Hong Farm, which is going to get a famous name, the Field of Lost Shoes. The reason that is is because as the troops are charging, remember, it's muddy and mucky. The shoes are going to get sucked right off their feet. Now, if you live in Virginia and you've been in Virginia, you know some of that Virginia mud can suck the shoes right off your feet. I've had it happen. So that's what's going to happen. They're going to go out here, and that's going to gain the name, the Field of Lost Shoes. The cadets, there's many of them are going to fall over here in the orchard next to the Bush Hong Farm. Um, many of them are going to be taken to the Krim House in New Market and cared for by Mother Krim. But the cadets, on t in turn, are also going to capture an artillery battery. And they're going to continue. Uh, this is inspiring to the other troops as well to see these boys run and capture this artillery battery. They're going to push the Union troops back all the way to Mount Jackson. And this is going to be the last major Confederate victory in the Shenandoah Valley. A little bit more about New Market. Um, it's a very historic town. If you get the chance to go and just walk around town, you'll see several Civil War 
uh, things. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's just there's a ton of signs. There's uh, cannons. There's um, there's even a piece of artillery in front of St. Matthew's Church, uh, like a piece of artillery shell in a post. Um, if you walk in, the headquarters for the Shenandoah Valley Battlefields Foundation is here in New Market. Walk in, there's a great coffee shop called Jackson's Corner there. Um, if you come here to the battlefield, walk around this battlefield. It is gorgeous. Uh, you go inside, and you you know you have to pay for admission, but you get a map. They tell you what all happened. You actually have part of the battlefields across the interstate uh, over toward Route 11. Um, you also have behind me the Virginia Museum of the Civil War. Uh, it's run by the VMI. It's a great museum. It's a wonderful thing to go and see. So if you love history, you love the Civil War, come and see this. This is one of the great museums we have here in Virginia. And, and this battlefield, again, I mean, just you see just what's behind me. I mean, it is gorgeous. Uh, you do have to ignore the interstate traffic, but uh, you can really get a feel for what happened here in 1864. I hope you learned a little bit about the Battle of Newmarket, and thank you for watching, and keep enjoying history.